So we're actually going to use that point just now to transition into the next part of this video because now we're going to learn how to say X wants Y. And this is going to be talking about X which is going to be a third person and Y is going to be the object that he or she wants. And in order to do that we are going to use the modified version of the Gaho Shi grammar construct and that instead is going to be X wa Y o hoshigate iru. Or if you want to be polite about it you could say hoshigate imasu instead. So again, this is saying X wants Y, and X is going to be a third person uh, that you're talking about. As just touched upon, it can be impolite to ask somebody what their desires are. Well, now that we're talking about a third person, it can be even considered more impolite to say forthrightly what you think someone else wants. And it is exactly because of that reason that instead of using Hoshi, now we're using this modified version of it to make it Hoshigate. Iru, and that is gonna soften it a bit even though it is still pretty impolite to state someone's desires. So basically what the Hoshigate form is conveying instead of Hoshi is that the subject, that third person you're talking about is showing signs that he or she wants that particular object instead of directly feeling that way. Since you're not that person, you can't speak for them directly, so now you're just saying it seems that he or she wants that, and that is what Hoshigate iru, or more polite, Hoshigate imasu is doing here. And another difference here is that instead of Hoshi, which is an E adjective, Hoshigate iru is actually gonna function as a full fledged verb in whenever it's used in a sentence. Hoshigaru is literally a verb, and iru itself is a verb too. So we have two verbs combined, hoshigate iru, hoshigaru in its te form plus iru after it. And since this is a verb being used, now we're not going to use the particle ga after that object that the person wants. We're going to use the direct object particle o instead because this is a verb again. So again, the grammar construct that we're using for third person desires that we're expressing is X wa Y o hoshigate iru or hoshigate imasu. Now let's go through two example sentences to get a better idea of this secondary form. For our first example sentence, we have the line kanojo wa nomimono o hoshigate iru. And this translates to she wants something to drink. First up, we have the word kanojo, which means girl, but here it's gonna just mean she. We have wa marking her as the topic of the sentence. We have Nomimono, which is drink. We have the direct object particle O because again we're using hoshigate, which is a verb. Right after O, we have, like I just said, hoshigate. Uh, then we have iru, and that's just part of the form again, and that's the whole sentence. Kanojo wa nomimono o hoshigate iru. She wants a drink. For our final example sentence, we have the line Kodomo tachi wa yasai de wa naku niku o hoshigate imashita. So, what this sentence is saying is the children wanted meat instead of vegetables. If we break the sentence down bit by bit, first up we have kodomo tachi, which is the children. We have the particle wa marking them as the topic of the sentence. Next up we have yasai, which is vegetables. Next up we have dewanaku, and this is a conjugation of dewanai which is modifying vegetables and it's doing a negation here so it's saying not vegetables and then we have the ku there simply to continue on the sentence so we have not vegetables right after that we have niku which means meat so connect that to the previous part and it's going to be something along the lines of not vegetables but meat we have the particle o which is of course making meat as the direct object of the verb that's about to come which is hoshigate which means want so wanted meat and then we have imashita and this is just a conjugation of iru into its polite past form so the polite form of iru is going to be imas but we're going to make that into the past tense too so it's going to be imashita so all together kodomo tachi wa yasai dewa naku niku o hoshigate imashita is the children wanted not vegetables but meat so yeah that's how we express desire of an object um, for the first person or the second person or the third person there are variations in what we use for each case and it's good to know that because if you don't know them you can end up seeming very uh, unrefined, impolite, uncultured, something along those lines. So X ga hoshi for the first person or if you're asking the second person what his or her desires are which is a pretty sensitive case as well. Uh, then X wa y o hoshigate iru for the third person and that's how we do that.